Hello ladies and gents out there, welcome back to the channel, I am Cyberlox, and also welcome back to some COD gameplay, I've not done that for a while, if you've been subscribed to my channel because of the shit show that's occurred with Black Ops 4 and its microtransactions, like about January-ish. Today I'm going to be showing you guys, doesn't matter if you're a PS4, Xbox, or PC user, on Modern Warfare, how to be a better gunfight player, and of course in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, not Call of Duty 4, the actual Modern Warfare that's coming out. Now, of course, if you're probably watching this, you've either already had it, or you're on Xbox or PC that doesn't have it yet before the game's release, and you just want to educate yourself on it. Whatever the case may be, this will apply, and I'm sure nothing much will change. I mark my words on that, unless, of course, microtransactions. But anyways, that's besides the point. Let's get right into this. So the first tip you're going to need to know for Gunfight is a rushing game. This game, the first time that you play this game, you will die. Uh, it's not just me, it's the professionals that have done it, it's friends of mine that have done it. It's quite a few people in gameplays I've watched on YouTube when this came out, even at the uh, event. Um, you will die in this game, and it's because of the movement style. It's not much like Rainbow Six or Battlefield, it's not so much like that as people thought it was. It's really like COD, but it's really sluggish, and that's what makes it feel really realistic practically. Um, you have to make sure that you know about the projectiles of the boards. You have to make sure you bounce in the recoil. You have to do all these things, and you have the super sprint. And we'll get into that as well. Practically, actually, let's just get into it now. The super sprint. You double tap. And the gameplay you're going to see near the end of the video is some of the older gameplay from my best clips. And back then, I didn't even know. That was like the first day of the alpha. I didn't even know that you could super sprint until the next day. So apologies if you don't see that. But it, once you know how to super sprint by double tapping your run button or joystick, uh, it'll be a very easy game for you. And whenever you rush people, for instance, on a map like Speedball, for say, you've probably seen at the very beginning there that I went right to the very center of the map and just looked at the enemy spawn. I did a super sprint there uh, in a few clips here. You'll see me do a super sprint up to the center of the map. Just take them right out. That way, that's one less person to remember by. And if you don't see anybody else there, chances are they're probably camping because you will see both sides where they're whereabouts are running to. This applies mostly in Speedball. Uh, there are another map, like for instance, Stash, you know, Stack. You're not going to really see that gameplay in here because I didn't really have that at that point. This is the uh, older clips. Um, you're going to like take a gun in the middle, like say you're playing OSP on site procurement. Um, we'll get to that to the next point. And you just go to one of the sandbags on the side, if you know what I'm talking about, the sandbags on the other side, and you just look over at the other place. Stay there about, for about three seconds. If nobody's there, then keep on moving to a different lane until you finally kill someone. It's easier said than done, but when you rush, this game becomes much easier, at least for me. Um, but I'm pretty certain my friends have done that same tactic before, and it's great, especially with communication. Speaking of on-site procurement or OSP mode, um, there's another tip we've got specifically for that. Do not pick up the first gun always unless you think you're not going to need it anymore. Now, personally, in a few clips you're going to see that I do not pick up the first gun, which is typically a Desert Eagle. There's a clip or two where I do do that because it was probably my first day playing. But it turns out if you do a super sprint to a different gun that's more powerful with a higher caliber and, you know, rapid fire, then you'll be better off right away. Rush to the spawn, like we said earlier. Avoid the 7 25, if I'm not mistaken, that's what it's called. It's the Olympia, basically. That piece of shit with the uh, shotgun scope. And also, try to avoid the uh, M19, which is typically going to be your first pistol, if not the uh, Deagle. But the M19 is a pea shooter. I remember taking, like, seven shots to kill somebody. It was, like, three shots for a headshot. It was crazy. Avoid those two guns as much as you can. If you're playing the normal mode, of course, this tip doesn't apply, because it's whatever you have, and it's very balanced. But... If you uh, try not to go out of your way, also for OSP, try not to go out of your way for explosives. They're really not that relevant, especially since you can just run away. Explosives typically aren't going to be placed in your way, so you have to go out of your way to go get those. And when you do that, by the time you do that, you probably upset the uh, the rhythm of how the match is played, and you'll probably get sniped before. Like I said, this is not a camping mode, so if you're going to try to stay still and have that time it takes to throw that grenade or Molotov, whatever it might be, it will have a chance to get you killed. Third up, in Gunfight, of course, every map is practically symmetrical. At least when I'm recording this video, every map is symmetrical, and the alpha just ended. So every map is symmetrical. Use that to your advantage, because let's take a map like Pine, for instance. There are a few different elevations in Pine that are a little offset, but they're still all right. And they are the cabins and the ramps. Now, there's a specific ramp that I never will go up, and it's on the left side if you spawn at the rocks, and it's the left side. And it's basically a ramp that leads up to like this like little log cabin or whatever it is, this awning. Do not ever, if you spawn on the opposite side, don't ever go on that right lane from that position. 
because you are very visible. There's not much cover when you stand up there as it looks. It's harder to head glitch and it's much easier to head glitch if you lean on top of a rock and shoot up that ramp. And you see that I got that quite a few. You might even see it right here. You see what I'm talking about. It's very easy to take people out from there. Just note that you may think you may not be as visible, but with the way that the guns and aesthetics work, head glitching is possible. You may not see them, but they can see you like an open target. So try to avoid the high ground as much as you can. This is not Lexington and Concord. This is not every single battle that you've ever known about how that type of stuff works. High ground is not going to guarantee you a win. And the last thing I've got right now, I know it's rather short. You're going to wonder why the video is so long. It's just so you can see all these in action. Headshots. Headshots are very precarious in this because in that 725 shotgun, you'll actually see that in a clip if you haven't already here. Um, headshots are very, very important. They're very vital, obviously, as it goes, because they're typically either a one-headshot kill, especially with the Desert Eagle. If you get your hands on that, gets a headshot, you've already got them out. As of this video, there is no way to get armor, and I really hope that there is no way to obtain armor in Gunfight, because that would very much ruin the flow. I hope there's no trauma kits or whatever the hell they, they call that. You see, it's just ridiculous how much our previous calls affect it. But back to headshots. Headshots with the 725, sometimes they're an instant. You'll see in the clip, again, that... I headshotted someone straight on and it just was a hit marker and it's just super confusing headshots but always try to go for headshots if not and you're in the rush of a gunfight try to end for the upper mass of course typically you're not going to be going for the legs but upper mass about the shoulders the uh, epaulets somewhere around there head if you can of course that's the quickest way to take them out of course you know it's going to vary depending on your caliber weapon and how far I can shoot the range, what attachments it has, etc. And if you're watching this video and you've already got the game, I honestly do not know what kind of crazy antics might be in the game. I heard it's going to be very realistic. Very nice to hear that. If you're playing this, hello, from the past. I have not gotten the game yet. It's currently uh, the 1st of September. But uh, if you're watching this video, hopefully it helps you out a little bit. Kind of basic, but if we just run through them really quickly, rush through the center of the map, try to take them both out, especially in a speedball. Uh, stack, not so much for the center of the map as much as it is on the sidelines. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. OSP, don't go straight for the first gun. Again, if you see any gameplay of that, it's because these are, it would be for my first day of playing the game. After that, I got a little more experience. And especially, in addition to the OSP, make sure you do some super sprinting to get better weapons faster. That way you can take out your enemies by double tapping your run button or stick. Lanes, remember, do not go so much on the high ground, especially on pine. Very, very important thing to know. And finally, headshots, very vital. Upper, upper mouse, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, basically if you do these things, you're gonna end up getting scores like I have done here in the Alpha. And these are most of my games. I didn't really edit out many games. The only games that you may not have seen are when I live-streamed and I deleted it with my friend Royal. It was my first, like, few games. It was very hard, but the more that you play, the more that you get used to it. And that's basically what it comes down to in the end. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to comment anything about this, just take it with a grain of salt. I may or may not respond right away as I am dealing with university. I'm currently in university right now, my new place. But aside from that, you know, if these work for you, why not leave a like, favorite it. If not, it's okay, you can dislike it. I'm okay with that, don't mind. But thank you all so much for watching, and with that being said, if you haven't even played the game yet, uh, here's some gameplay, just in case you haven't seen it yet. Enjoy. Show them what we do. On to the next round. Give him a 
a proper English welcome.
Nothing less. 